Hi, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a bunch of beaded grapes and I'm going to be making this into a key ring but you can put it on a necklace or earrings or whatever you feel like really but it's a really simple um, thing to make so you're going to need some flathead pins and some beads you're going to put one bead on each flathead pin you want to cut the pin down a bit if it's too long leave like just over a centimetre maybe a centimetre and a half and we're going to curl this over so you've got the bead and then you've got like a hoop right above the bead and you're going to want to do this 21 times and this is each of the individual little grapes so it'll look like that so like I say you need to do that 21 times and once you've done that we're going to attach them to the chain because you need some chain for this as well attach it to the chain we're going to use small jump rings we don't need anything big just small ones will do you don't want this too bulky so you're going to open up the first jump ring attach one bead to it and then we're going to attach this to the first link on the chain So once we put the chain on there as well, we're going to close up the jump ring. And that's the first link done. Now we're going to move on to the second link of the chain. And we're going to put four beads on it. So we're going to get a jump ring. Open it up. Again, we're going to put one bead on this and attach it to the second link of the chain and you want to do this four times on the second link the best thing to do would be put two on each side of the link so it's not all too bulky on one side and then that's the second row done well it will be after you've repeated that step three more times I sped this up because otherwise it would get so boring the third link will be slightly different so the third link we're still going to be using four jump rings but we're going to be putting eight beads on so the first jump ring we're going to open up and then we're going to be putting two beads on that one so each jump ring will have two beads on it and then you connect it to the third chain link so I say you have to do it four times so there's eight beads all together on this eight beads but only four jump rings then you want to do that exactly the same for the fourth um, chain link as well so the first chain link you just had the one second you had four individual beads the third one you had four lots of two beads so there's eight beads and the fourth one will be the same as the third so another eight beads so hopefully you can understand that <laughs> but that creates a nice kind of bunch of grapes I didn't show you putting all these on because I kept going off camera <laughs> I apologise for that but I kept bringing the, my hands forward and I, f I had got out of that bad habit but I kind of got back into it so keep shaking around just to make sure everything's falling into place this is what it looks like afterwards it's really hard to actually show you on this angle of the camera but it actually looks a lot better than what it looks like from this angle that's the best way of showing you <laughs> so you just cut off any excess chain you don't need and just pop it on a keyring and you're done like I say you can put it on a necklace or anything else you want so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video bye